The softball team continues to stay hot in conference play. And we sit down with track stars Jamie Thompson and Demetrius Rooks. All this and more coming up on All Access. Hello, cool cats and kittens. Welcome to All Access. I'm Chris Sharnigal. And I'm Tom Crossan. And we have another great episode planned for you today. So let's get started. Yeah, let's do this. The Lady Profs track and field team defeated Georgia and Court University with a final tally of 122.5 to 73.5 in a dual meet on Wednesday. Rowan did exceptionally well, placing first in 10 individual events and winning all three relays. The 4x100 relay included Shiloh Williams, Joyce Perry, Chantel Beckford, and Brianna Crofton with a winning time of 48.03. The 4x400 relay included Tashay Wilson, Myra Searcy, Percy, and Crofton with a winning time of 402.45. The distance medley relay included Alexis Streeter, Vanessa Valdez, Christina Ricci, and Samantha Stapleton with a winning time of 13.2205. Shiloh Williams did her part in the relay but also had a big day individually. She won the 100 meter with a time of 12.27 and, and the 200 meter with a record time of 24.92. Her time in the 200 meters broke the school record of 25.9 by Karen Corsi in 1991. After her performance at Georgian Court University, she was elected as the NJAC Women's Track and Field Rookie of the Week for the second time this season. United States Track and Field and Cross Country Coaches Association has ranked the Rowan University Women's Outdoor Track and Field Team first in the Atlantic region making it the second straight week the profs have been in first place. The Rowan men's track team competed at Westchester University this past weekend. The 4x100 meter relay ran a winning time of 42.3 seconds and was run by Marcus Rawls, Tyler Colborn, Frank Rubino, and Ali Ejaz. John Sunig took second place in the 5,000 meters with a time of 15 minutes and 21.43 seconds. Meanwhile, Glenn Coles also had a good showing by placing second in the shot put and fifth in the discus. Overall, the Profs had a great showing in Westchester, having one of, if not their best, meet of the year. The softball team split a doubleheader against Richard Stockton College, winning the first 3 to nothing and dropping the second 6-5. to five. The second loss ended the Profs' 22-game win streak, tied for the longest in head coach Kim Wilson's career. Senior right-hander Leanne Miller tossed a no-hitter in the first and struck out 10 batters. Designated player Ashley DeYoung provided most of the damage, going 2-for-3 with a double and two RBIs. This, in the second contest, Shyla Sneed went 2-for-3 with a triple, one RBI, and one run scored. Catcher Megan Lee also added two hits and three at-bats. The loss was Rowan's first in-conference loss of the season. The Rowan University softball team has been ranked 11 in, in the nation with a 26-4 and record. They swept the doubleheader at Washington College on Thursday. Right-handed pitcher Leanna Miller tallied her 15th victory and fifth shutout of the in the first game, striking out 10 opponents and only giving up five hits. The second game ended early due to darkness, but with a huge deficit, Rowan claimed the win. Christy Moronsky was the winning pitcher, advancing her record to 9-1. She gave up a scattered five hits and gave up one earned run. The Lady Profs have another doubleheader against the College of New Jersey and four more games left in their regular season. On Sunday afternoon, the softball team defeated Ramapo College in both games of a doubleheader by a combined score of 14 to nothing, winning the first 3 nothing and the second 11 nothing in five innings. This game gave the props a 28 and four record and nine and one in conference. Leanne Miller recorded her sixth shutout in the first game, scattering nine hits and striking out seven batters. Alyssa Romero hit a home run and Arcella was one for three with a double and two RBIs. In the second matchup, Christy Moronsky got her 10th win by striking out 10 hitters and allowing just two hits. Stephanie Lavas was 3-for-4 with an eye-popping 5 RBIs and a 2-run homer. Rowan then 10-run ruled Ramapo, ending the game in 5. The women's lacrosse season started off a little shaky, but they have improved their record after beating Drew University. 
They now have a six win and five loss tally in their season. The Lady Profs crushed Drew University with a 19 to 11 score this past Tuesday. This game was an important one for attack Becca Woods scoring seven goals against the Drew Rangers. It also marked her 100th career goal, becoming the 16th player in the Rowan's lacrosse team history to do so. Midfielder Jamie Blondina took notes from Wood and found the back of the net four times. Attack Marissa McEachin Vicky and Vicky Sikarski followed suit, adding three apiece. Attacks Colleen Noss and Chelsea Taggart had one each. Rowan outshot Drew with an impressive 40 to 25 difference and dominated the entire game. They have five games left of the regular season play. The Rowan lacrosse team is holding one of their last home games in memory of Matt Ull, a former senior here at Rowan and a brother of Pi Kappa Alpha on Saturday, April 27th. They play Eastern University at 1 p.m. The lacrosse team and Pike will be selling ribbons for $1. Proceeds will be going to the Ull family and MADD. Other donations are appreciated as well. Come out and support Matt and the Lady Profs lacrosse team. Coming up, we have Ryan Ravel with this week's Rowan Roundtable, so stay tuned.